Building a, a car, weeks scooters. Ago, I was in the ER. Not for me, I'm fine. But for my friend Tommy, whose wrist decided to explode after he fell off an electric scooter, it was pr pretty disgusting. It looked like you took the Photoshop drag tool and just went e -er to his hand. And the doctor was telling us as he was putting Tommy's bones back together how common it was to get electric scooter injuries in the ER. It's up there with like car crashes and motorcycle accidents. And it makes you think like, how can we make electric scooters easier to use and safer for people like Tommy? And we probably come to the same conclusion, make a car out of him. Make a car out of electric scooters. Now when I say build a car out of electric scooters, I mean it metaphorically. <laughs> but I also mean it literally. I want to make a car out of electric scooters, where instead of these caveman fucking tires, we slot in scooters, and then I weld together a frame in between them to be like, like a Crazy body editing. of a car. This invention takes all the risk out of riding these dangerous demonic scooters. No longer do you need the requisite skills to stay upright on one, a talent few in our society possess, if any at all. Instead, just sit down, hit the accelerator, and go. No balance required. But Michael, I hear you ask, how are you going to hit the throttles on each of the what first is that to camera? make it all go? I am fucking getting to that. If you, if you would wait just a goddamn second, it'll cut to that part of the video where it's the whole explanation happens, and it'll be cut to very fast-paced music. Like subway servers. We got subway servers. The way you accelerate on these scooters is by pressing this little throttle tab with your thumb. Uh, I don't want to use my fucking thumb because I can't on four scooters simultaneously. So here's what I came up with. It's a 3 printed, sub printed thumb attached to a motor so it can actuate the throttle on the scooter. That's cool, right? Wrong, it sucks ass. Am I going to sit there diddling wires together like a fucking Cro-Magnon caveman? No, no, we're going to make it wireless for a couple of reasons, but mostly because I'm neurotic. So it's going to be 10 times more complicated for very little benefit. We can turn this old remote into a controller for the thumb thing. And now it's a detonator. Oh, perfect. But this detonator can talk to an Arduino so it's all good. Then we'll take some microwave safe Tupperware and put the electronics in it. That's not making it past TSA. These are all really basic components you can buy online. They come from a beautiful little place in China called <laughs> And just like that, we control the throttle wirelessly. Now you might be wondering why the scooter isn't plowing through my bathroom. And that's because it's got a built-in safety feature that makes you kick off and get a little bit of speed before the scooter accelerates. Which might then make you think that's gonna be a problem for scooter car, and you'd be right. But that's foreshadowing for later. For now, I need to try to ride this. Not because I need to test it, but because it, it seems fun. And so I went into shit-covered Los Angeles to try it out with my friends. We're definitely not going to an airport with uh, this, right? This doesn't nah. look sussy. It's my remote control. <laughs> Get on it. <laughs> Oops, scooter. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> oh shit. Go. <laughs> so it's just being controlled. It's great to see that work, but if I were you, I'd be thinking, hey, Michael. Dumbass. Why don't you just wire into the scooter directly and skip the whole motorized thumb thing? Well, there's actually a really good reason they're not my scooters. They're public rental scooters that you can rent on your phone. So if I were to wire directly into one, that would be destruction of property and make it illegal. But since we're just renting them off the street and strapping a bunch of electronics to them, that makes it less illegal. All right, now we got four of these little fuckers and I'm gonna He's cut out the 15 hours public of between that last bit and this one. I also noticed a problem with this controller. It sends the same signal to each of the <laughs> little throttle things. So they all do the same shit, but we wanna be able to talk to each one individually. And for that, we're gonna need a more advanced controller. <coughs> So I got this Wiimote steering wheel off of eBay. Now I'm not good enough at electronics to make a Wiimote talk directly to these thumb things, but if we slip some software, some coding in between the two, I'm pretty sure I can make it work. Now some people would call that compensating for my crippling that? lack of electronics engineering skills using computer programming. And yeah, I, I love a Wii remote. That. That's exactly what I'm doing. Hey kid. You wanna learn some Python? First thing, you're gonna to wanna to see if you can even I used to know how to use a little bit of Python. So open up your little code editor and we'll write some code to test it out. This line says connect to an Arduino over USB. That's our little transmitter here. And these guys are just variables. They're numbers. They say how much and which motors to move. These lines down here tell our transmitter to send those variables over to the thumb thing. And if we run it, it should... <laughs> put a cute little function up there. Mm. Uh, uh... We'll save every scooter address in an array. And now if we loop through that array... And okay, and now if we loop, what the fuck, man? Just run the fucking. Bro! I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you forever. Huh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So the next thing I should do is uh, kill myself. Connect to the Wiimote <laughs> steering wheel. We kind of just capture the steering wheel's position and use it to draw this red ball. But it gets a little cooler when you combine it with the code we wrote earlier. Now, depending on which way I turn the steering wheel, the throttle lays off on that side of the car. And with only one side of the car powered, scooter car will turn in that direction. I hope. <laughs> I don't fucking know. I haven't tested it. Well, you should probably go test it then, huh? Stupid. So it's time uh, to see go see for the two Initially, I was worried how I would get these back to my house. But then I remembered I own a white truck with a line on top of it, which essentially 
makes me God on the streets of Los Angeles. And with that sorted, we just need a quick montage to hook these guys up. No, should be good to go. Problem, the front wheel can still turn, which is definitely a fucking problem that we have. We need a system to immobilize the front steering column entirely. So here's what I designed in Fusion 360. And here's what I actually made. I call it two clamps from Home Depot I welded together in my garage. Okay, all the controls are He's running, I got the software dude. running, and I just activated all the scooters on the, the app. Just the like controls look good. I'm gonna bank a right turn out of the driveway and we'll I'll test never it out this. on the street. A little push. Huh, I'll be honest with you. I meant to crash it into my truck as a goofy haha -ha kind of meme. Classic comedy. But I also 100% in my heart of hearts believe that when I turn the steering wheel, it would turn. I believe so much. And uh, nothing happened when I turned the steering wheel. So I went in and did a Boeing 737 crash site analysis. I rebuilt the frame out of stronger wood so I could test why it didn't work. And I discovered some very disturbing things. Oh, here we Mainly go. it was that I didn't understand the concept of like, like steering in general, you cannot just power one side of a vehicle and expect it to turn. You are now watching a live video of me encountering this concept for the very first time. And like a child who cannot grasp reality, I keep trying to make it work. Cars don't do that ever. I do not know where I got these ideas. My only hope is that I'm becoming schizophrenic and a voice told them to me in the night. But I can't give up. Tommy's out there somewhere with a broken hand. <laughs> what if he tries to ride on a scooter? He's what if so, he rides a so scooter? bad at riding scooters. I need to do this for people like Tommy, who is, again, so utterly dog shit at riding scooters. We need to pivot, literally pivot the front half of scooter car to change the direction of our rotational there, velocity. Dora. Am I using that word right? Here's a chart, you figure it out. We'll need to ditch the wood and go with a metal frame with a heavy duty Oh shit! Hand. Like this one? It's exactly gonna be inspirational. Like it will take days, maybe weeks to weld. Oh no, there it is. Yeah, no, I cut all that shit out. It's boring, but if you want to watch it here <laughs> see everyone's happy except for me because i um again haven't tested it yet well you should probably go fucking, fucking test tested it, it then yeah no i know thank you it's just i'm kind of worried that epilepsy montage was maybe like 80 hours of work it shouldn't have taken that long I've, it's because i learned to weld on youtube and also this fucking part it holds the bearings that lets the whole thing rotate i had to make it on a lathe which meant i had to learn how to use a lathe which meant I had to buy a lathe on Facebook Marketplace. And I also bought this couch on Facebook Marketplace. This is not an ad, I just buy a lot of stuff from there. What I'm hoping is we can use the same concept as before, where we use the scooter speed to steer the car. But this time they have a nice pivot to work around. And also it's only two pivot. scooters turning. So it's like a line instead of a square. So that should work, right? That is crazy, he owns like a little truck. Oh, just get that out. It's so beautiful. I'm looking for a parking lot big enough to test this in. Last time I tried to. Does he just wear the vest to look like he's like on business? Like the roof of a Westfield mall. Just gonna move these. I got kicked out P pretty much immediately. New spot, found it. We're trying to figure out how to take a piss. Not how to take a piss, like a, a place to pee. I'm in the back parking lot of trying to hide from their security. I'm hiding everything behind my truck, but I don't know how long that's gonna last. I think I just have to test it out. This one's not unlocking. And I don't know why. This can't be real. One of them is not unlocking. Why is it just this one? I literally tested it. Please. Oh my god, it fucking worked. That's all four. That's creepy. What? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> oh shit. It actually steers. <laughs> Let's go again. Yes. 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 Now what is right. that? What is that? What just <laughs> fell off? <laughs> I think the reason we had that little issue is because scooter car got outside of the range of the transmitter, which won't be a problem when I actually ride it, because I'll be on it. So that's that's good. Now we're gonna go right. Okay. And now back left. Oh my god. This is Oh shit. Oh shit 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 shit. Yeah, yeah. Right. Brakes. Shit, honestly, I'm gonna add more than just brakes. You didn't have brakes? Welcome to the future. Oh shit. Come here, let me show you, let me show you, let me show you what we got. Huh, brakes? Yeah, we got, we got brakes. <laughs> so the scooters actually already have brakes on them. They knew that. Stupid. So I just took a $9 air piston and 3D printed a bunch of bullshit onto it. And now you can control the brakes with compressed and 3D air. 3D printed bullshit it onto it. <laughs> Pretty good. Yeah, I could have spent time with my family, but instead I spent days making breaks for a scooter car. You're wasting your life away, you idiot! You fucking moron! Um, 
Wait. <laughs> check this out. Check this out. We got a custom push off. I feel like system. my glasses kind of look, look like that. Wondering low why key, the push off system. Well, you obviously don't fucking listen. Things you kick off and get a little bit of speed before the scooter accelerates. Dang, I said, so we'll we could have been matching if I was like a little push. quicker. Uh oh, not enough friction. I wish we had something made out of rubber. Take off your Trace shoe. Your foot. Put your foot out of a sheet of metal. Breathe a bunch of poison gas. Nice job. Now, if you have trouble with friction, just take off your air forces, put the metal plate in, screw it to the piston, and wow, look at all that friction. <laughs> wow. Wait, that wow. piston is crazy. Nice job. Hello? That was Elon. Blow up his house. Custom bodywork, a spoiler, hop it custom, synthetic leather seat. Oh, we need a chair. Come on, come on. <laughs> so big. Should I like cut the seat? I think about all the dangerous things on this thing, and then I realize I'm in too deep. Like, I can't stop. Shut up, dumbass. No one cares. <laughs> She's got everything. <laughs> Only one thing left to do is to make Tommy's wish come true. I mean, not now. Like, probably probably tomorrow morning. It's tomorrow morning. And the plan is simple. Yes. You drive scooter car across Los Angeles. Yeah, I can't even imagine, like, stop. editing and, like, easy. putting this timeline right of video to together. Poor boy with a broken hand. And that's good enough for me. Can you believe this idiot broke his hand on a scooter? <laughs> no, I don't give a shit about his arm. It's like charity work, you know? Think of all the attention I'm gonna get for helping his ass. You're still recording? Are you still recording? I'm coming, Tommy. <laughs> Can you guys help me get it over the, the, the lip? Okay, okay. <laughs> It like turns and shit. <laughs> Dude, it fucking turns. It works like for real. <laughs> Progress is good, but we're approaching the first major obstacle. Big road. Four lanes of traffic with no stoplight. In scooter cars, He's just driving this in traffic. Like child versus minivan. But no matter, I've already lost all regard for human life and safety. <laughs> she handles it like a fucking champ. She does like a fucking champ. She can do the turn. How you going? It's hot out, huh? Fuck. One of the scooters is giving out. Oh no, it's probably the low battery one I started with so I could create conflict because this is a YouTube video. But that's no problem with scooter cars. Grab a scooter from wherever and you can simply replace it. Let me show you how. Disengage the parking brake. Locate a high lift jack. Jack it up a few inches. Unplug and remove your electronics. Don't package. use that. Can't buy another one of those. Unscrew and remove your braking system. Remove the throttle motor servo. Undo the rear clamp. Undo the front clamp. Remove the low battery scooter. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Insert a fresh scooter into your scooter slot. Clamp up your scooter. Your electronics. <laughs> Don't forget Throttle. Plug it back in. So you Return your brakes. You can stop at stoplights. <laughs> and just like that, you're ready to rock. <laughs> this fucking sucks. Bow, bow, bow. Can I get a uh, one number four? The meal. From here on out, it's smooth sailing. Except for the street, which is blind in both directions but zero visibility. Wait, it's fucking remote control. I can just stand up. We got his remote control. He just do whatever, you know? And that is crazy. Journey, finally about to is this allowed? I have no idea. Tommy! Tommy! What? I got your car. You have my what? Where's your fucking cast? Uh, Where's your it's cast? Gone now. It's been months. The whole video hinges on your arm being broken. Uh, the video doesn't make sense now. <laughs> you understand? Sorry. You understand how the video doesn't make sense now? Sorry. Do you get it? Come on, let's okay. get a cast. Let's get okay, a cast. Okay. What is Come this? On. It's your car. Bro. So you don't fall on a scooter and break your hand ever again. This thing looks Shut more the dangerous. Fuck up. None of this makes sense without a cast. So you sit inside of it. You sit. You sit inside. Yeah. 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 You're not driving. I don't know. Have... <laughs> See you later, dumbass. Just, uh, just sit on my lap. Okay. okay. Don't worry, baby. You feel a little sneeze. You feel that? You get a little sneeze. Oh, wow. Acceleration go crazy. I can't see too good, so if you could point out, like, what's going on. So how come you have the helmet, but I don't? This is fucking dangerous. I think it's just a right now. Oh, oh this shit. Is Santa Monica. Oh, holy shit. I know. This is not part of the plan. Oh, boy. Oh, oh, Ignore shit. it. Ignore that. Ignore it. There's shit dangling. Ignore it. Ignore it. Stop, stop, stop. Okay, fucking get off. Get off. Is this on? Oh. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Bro, your arm has to be broken to put it in here, which kind of does make sense when you think about it. <laughs> okay, <come on. laughs> It makes sense. The video makes sense. Let's get you in your car. It feels better, huh? Yeah. Hey, man. You're welcome. And there's no need to thank me, actually, for real. How long did this get his last? Have fun, all right? I'll enjoy this. Wait, wait, wait. 
fucking dumbass. <laughs> Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, share it in your family group chat and uh, favorite Discord dooning server. It's 5 a.m. I don't, I don't even know where I am anymore. Uh, if you want to see Scooter Car in person, I'm actually taking it to Open Sauce. It's a convention Whoa. that my ex-roommate puts on every year. It's like an adult science fair. Uh, it's not porn. I feel like every time you say adult, you have to preface that with it's... <laughs> it's not porn. It's essentially hundreds of booths that the biggest nerds on planet Earth showcase their stuff in. I think my favorite from last year was a shrimp that fried rice. But yeah, it's cool. It's <laughs> in San Francisco and it's going on June That's 14th awesome. to 16th. And if you go to see Scooter Car, you can sit in it and you, you can mess with the buttons. I haven't asked Will about this, but because I'm saying it, no, I almost kind of want to know like, how to did let the... you do that. Yeah, maybe I'll see oh, you there. The and, uh, oh, what what else? Else? oh, sorry, the video took so long. I promise the next one will be faster, more live, and uh. Oh, Tommy didn't really break his hand on an electric scooter. He broke it on an electric toy moped that I built, and he broke it because it didn't have any brakes on it. And that's why we're in the emergency room together. And that's it. Yeah, okay, thank you. And that's a perfect time to talk about today's sponsor, Odoo. Why go some to many places for website Sponsor at the end. It with Odoo. Odoo didn't like that version for some reason. I was going to do another one. Odoo's trying to be like a one-stop shop for all the <laughs> annoying parts of managing your business. They have an app for accounting. They have an app for e-commerce. They have an app for website building. Can you imagine how boring it would be to make I'll all I'll follow it through for I mean, him. Kind of cool. Say I wanted to make like an open source blog about uh, like turning scooters into a car. You start with a few prompts about what you want to build. Then you choose a color palette. Pick out what you need the site to do and what pages go in there. And you get to choose between like three different versions of the site. They say they use AI to generate the site. I'm assuming that means choosing the stock photos and page layout that best fits your business, which gives you a really good starting out point. Then you're able to go in and make it look the exactly like made you of scooters. Just edit this, boom, put that boom. in there, slap this guy. Yeah, I can you probably know, edit not. this Here's together. All the source code for the entire scooter car G Live. I threw this site together just to do the sponsorship, but like immediately the site was active. I didn't have to do anything. I just put in the prompts and like there it was, which is really cool. And somehow it's free because your first app on Odoo is free for life with unlimited. Nice. Nice.